what is up youtube good morning we back at it again today um it's another day i'm going to continue the process of uh fixing my wheel bearing which in fact made me buy a new drive shaft and a new ball joint because the wheels all tore up uh, and the uh the drive shaft the axle was seized onto my knuckle essentially so i opted to buy this one, which is the autozone brand because it has a warranty it's gonna be brand new it's not as thick as the super one that's for sure but i mean i'm not gonna be doing nothing crazy so it is what it is about this one and then uh, we gotta install this and this and go get a new knuckle from uh vip auto wrecking unfortunately um but uh We'll see how that goes. I'm not trying to pay as much as he's trying to charge. Hopefully he gives me a little discount. And uh says yes to it. And uh we gotta get going. Gonna, well, we gotta eat breakfast first. Because we're not we're not doing any work on my car on an empty stomach. Alright. Alright, so just finished coming from uh VIP auto wrecking. Again, I got my son with me. Say hello, Tiago. Hi. Yeah, he's in a better mood today. He's actually speaking to the camera. And uh, we're going to go home to my parents' house where my car is uh, currently residing. Uh, I'll take it apart and uh, put it back together. The VIP auto wrecking yard was awesome. Um, I don't really like going to them sometimes because it's too pricey. But at the same time, I'm not taking off the part of myself. So I get it. Um, cause I was going to go to the other junkyard and take the, uh, knuckle off myself and God knows how much it was going to cost me and to be there for another hour or two, I, I couldn't do it. So I just went to him, whatever, paid whatever he charged me. It also came with a good ball joint. So I have to go to AutoZone and return the one I just bought. Although I kind of don't want to at the same time, but it's all right. Verdad? We gotta save some money, um, somehow. If I once I return all this stuff, uh, it's pretty much like free. Like the knuckle would probably be free, uh, cause I did pay seventy five bucks for it. Which to me, it's kind of pricey, cause a brand new one is a little bit double, double what it is. Um, and yeah, so I'm happy about that. It actually is in great condition, like not rusty at all. Huh, Papa? It's in good condition. Yeah. See, cause the one that was on my car is is done. It's done. I'm I'm gonna just beat the shit out of it until it pops up the um the uh the axle because it's stuck in there. It's it's done. Like it's garbage. So uh, I'm also gonna install the wheel bearing um and the seals and all that stuff. So hopefully, guys, I can show you guys that. But it's a lot easier just doing it than showing it at the same time. I know there's a lot of detailed videos on how to remove it and how to uh, install it, but the only issue is time. Cause I got also little man and he needs his attention, huh? Yeah, see? So we'll be right back. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there, all right? All right, so we got the setup. They're the same exact length only thing that I can see difference is this part right here it's a lot this is a lot slimmer than this this one is built for it like that's thick but I just can't take it off it's stuck look, look. but look how nasty this one is can you tell look this one even came with the newer ball joint oh hold on I'll be right back my pops is calling me so as I was saying like I don't care about this. This this part I'm replacing it anyways. But look at the ball joint. That's like almost new compared to that. And it's in good condition. Really good condition. This is disgusting. Look at that. Look at the difference. Even this part. Well, I cleaned it actually. But just overall, like this is gonna get replaced, so I don't really care. Um I 
I don't even think this was my problem. I think this was my problem. But all of this is getting new. Um, this, I don't really care because I'm not really doing anything crazy for it. Um, at least not yet. Eventually, I will probably, if I can get this one out, um, I will probably rebuild it. And uh, um, that would be fine. If I can ever get it out. This, if anybody wants to buy this knuckle, once I replace it, uh, separate it, um, hit me up. It's going to just be sitting here as a paperweight if anybody needs it or wants it. it I mean, it fits the four, four caliper if you guys need one. Four piston caliper. If you guys want, uh, just hit me up. Um, shoot me an offer and then uh, pay for the shipping and that's all you guys let me know but we're gonna get going um, I just uh, uh, ran a few wire brushes through the the bolt right there with the tie rod um, sanded that down a little bit because it's nasty um, I'm gonna try to just put this in right now and just to have it ready um, sand a little bit this down or uh, with a wire brush and uh, we should be going I know I'm definitely gonna run the wire brush on this just so it can have a better mating surface and uh, we're gonna get going because it looks like it's gonna be really windy right now so see you. wait so finally got the old race out and kind of broke it which is I don't care honestly but it was such a pain in the ass. I didn't realize that this had a lip right here and I was just pushing against the lip with the tool. The tool would have worked perfectly with how I was using it, but I didn't know there was a lip. So when you use it, you gotta use this one. It's size, what size is it? 95507. So it goes through, through, where, the, through where that's at and it pushes on like this. So it has to go a little inside of it. But I was just banging it out because I didn't want to break this. I didn't want to break the tool. All right, I'm feeling really defeated. Look what just happened. Um, that broke. The race broke. Let's see if you can tell. And this just stayed on there. But that didn't break. Yeah. So I went to go my pops went to go get another one from AutoZone because I'm feeling really defeated. Didn't want to move. But we're gonna try this one more time.